everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal, and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you another Stationery Pal unboxing. I'm so excited. I chose a lot of fun goodies this time around, and I wanted to thank Stationery Pal for sending me these goodies. Now, as always, I will be linking everything I share down in the description box for you, but I also did want to mention that Stationery Pal has a July sale, so if you want to check out their sale, I definitely recommend to check out their website, which again, I will link in the description box for you. So let's take a look at what I grabbed from Stationery Pal, and I'm always in awe with their adorable boxes. They are so cute. Let's see if I can get this in. Look at that. Love the frog. They always have the cutest, cutest boxes. They're just so good, and their packaging is adorable. So let's open this up because again, their packaging is so cute and I love sharing their packaging with you. So this is the packaging. I can't even get the whole thing in the screen. I love the thank you. I always keep their boxes. I just use them in my craft room. They're just so good. And we're gonna take a look at their adorable packaging. The bubble wrap is hearts, which is perfection but they are always killing it with this adorable packaging. So, so cute. Ooh, I got another astronaut. Last time they sent me the pink astronaut and now I got the blue one. The pink one I gave to Sabine. This time around, I'm keeping this guy. He's so cute. They always throw in some really cute goodies. That's their little teddy bear that comes in every package. That's a little uh, phone holder. What are they called? Pop sockets, yeah, pop sockets, so cute. It's a little rabbit. They sent some clips. Always throw in some really fun gifts in there. I really love the little gifts. Oh, that's like the little hats that they always send in there. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna start sharing all the goodies I grabbed and I'm gonna put this aside so I can show you all the fun things that Stationery Pal sent me. Okay, so the first thing I grabbed was this pencil pouch. It's an adorable pencil case. And I really wanted to try it because I, um, when I journal and when I work in my planner, I like to have, or I wanted a pencil pouch that would help me organize my favorite pens and markers and things like that. The pencil pouches that I usually use are um, just like one pouch and I throw everything in there. But these, you can, first of all, expand this, which is pretty awesome. So I can make this bigger. So it adds some more depth to it, which I definitely need because I have some favorite pens and markers and things that I need to be able to fit in here. But then I can use this portion to add all my favorite pens and then have my eraser and everything in there and have this sit with my journal, my daily journal and my planner. So I'm gonna keep this on the side and probably fill it out with the new pens I got for now and then kind of organize everything. But I'm really excited for this. I love the depth. I love the color. It gives me that brownish, maybe light brown feel to it with a little bit of mustard hint in there, but I'm really excited for this one and it feels really, really good. It's very soft. I really like this. So I'm gonna put this aside and while I share with you the new pins and markers and highlighters, I'll probably end up adding it in here. As you can see, I grabbed a lot of pens and I did also grab a refill of one of my favorite pens. So we're gonna take a look at what I got one by one. A lot of these are repeats that I usually always use in my daily journal and my planner, but some are new like this one. I got two of them because I think one is a four. Yeah. So it's a Sarasa Dry 0 0.5 and a Sarasa Dry 0 0.4. So I, got, I grabbed two different sizes and I really wanted to use these because I've heard really good things about them. I love the look of these pens and it has that gel around the fingers so you know it's more comfortable. So I'm excited to try these out. So let's take a look at these two first. I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper. Okay, so let's try this out. This one is the 0 0.4, which I'm excited about because 
I love the 0 0.4. So this is the Sarasa Dry 0 0.4. I really like that. This is going to be perfect for my daily journal. I love the size. So good. And it dries really fast. That's a plus for me. And this one is the five. So let's check this one out. Ooh, really like the five. I love this one. Nice. And I love that they're like clear bodies. So good. Excited for that. I think this one was called white and this one was called clear on their site. But again, I will link everything. So I got those two. I also got the Sarasa Nano. Uh, I've tried this one before, but I don't think I've ever tried this body before. I feel like I've had the vintage ones and they're a different body. And I think the other one is like the more expensive style body, but I've never tried this one. And this one's a 0.3, so that's exciting. I like to like go smaller sometimes, especially in my daily journal. Oh, and this one is the dark gray as well. So it's not a true black and it's not a blue. It's like that in between. And this one's the Sarasa Nano. This is really tiny. I don't know how I feel about that one. That's really, really tiny. So the one I usually use, I'm gonna grab it so I can compare it with this one and you can see the difference because I think the one I use is a Nano 0.5. So this is the one I usually use in my daily journal and I believe it's a five. I don't know if it's called Sar Sarasa um, Nano I have to look this one up, but I know they do have this one on their site. And I did grab this from their site, but it is a five and you can see that difference. And this is a dark gray as well. So that's really, really small, the 0 0.3. But I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit scratchy when you're writing with this. The one I usually use is very smooth, so I don't know, I have to try it out a few times and see if I even like it, but I do like the size of that. It's very thin and I like that. Anyways, um, that is the Sarasa Nano. This is the Klena and I really, really love the Klena. Uh, this is the Inner Gel Klena and I believe I grabbed a 0 0.4. Again, love the size. And I use this pen a lot in my daily journal as well. It feels really good. I think I said it was a 0 0.4, I think. Glenna. I like this one a lot. I'm a big fan of the Klena. I feel like it just, it feels so good in my Hemlock and Oak when I'm journaling. I also grabbed, I think I grabbed a Klena. Oh no, I grabbed a Zebra Sarasa for this pen in a 0 0.5 because I am going getting low on this one. So I grabbed a refill as well. So I'm excited for that to have the refill. I don't know why I put this one here. This is not a pen. Let's move everything aside. I think that's it for my pens, but I did get a ceramic knife and this is the ceramic knife. I've shared this before um, that I was looking for a good ceramic knife and I grabbed one from a different company and it works really well, but I don't believe it was a ceramic knife. I feel like it was just a craft knife. This is a ceramic knife and it shouldn't, you know, cut you or anything, but I will be able to cut around washi tape easily and make that indentation to be able to remove the sticker without like cutting through the tape itself, if that makes sense. The only thing is I think you have to learn how to use this. 
because it's not easy <laughs> to go in a circle. But it should remove the washi without like removing the backing. And that way you can just kind of cut around your circle or your washi tape. And I really like that idea. Um, one of my subscribers shared that with me. So I'm excited for the ceramic knife because it is a ceramic knife. Again, I believe the last one I got was not ceramic and it was just a craft knife. It still worked, but I really wanted to try the ceramic knives and I really like this and we'll be using it to cut out my washi tape. I also grabbed a marker. This is the dot markers. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I grabbed a pack of these dot markers from Stationery Pal and I've really been enjoying them. And so because I got the vintage colors, and I really like the vintage colors, I think the other set is really bright colors and I don't use really bright colors much, but I did want this green. I think the green looks really good. It's the perfect green and I love it. It's kind of like foresty. So one side is dots. So if you push really hard, you'll make the bigger dots. If you don't add pressure, you can make, you know, medium size, smaller dots. And these are perfect for my planner. And then on the opposite side is just a fine marker. So you can make lines and things like that. So I'm excited to add this to my little collection of dot zig markers. Let's talk highlighters. I did grab a lot of highlighters this time around. And these are the mild liners, which I have all the colors, but these, and I decided to grab them because I have a feeling I'm going to love these colors. They're just so pretty. Let me open this real quick. Okay. I got these open and there is five colors in here and they're all so, so pretty. I forgot the name of the set. I'm trying to think what it was called. I don't remember, but I will add them in the description box for you. But they are so up my alley. They're so mild <laughs> and muted colors. Oh, look at that dot. It went right through my paper, which is A-OK, -okay, but I need to make sure that I'm careful with that dot green. Look how pretty. That's the gray. I love mild liners and it does have the chisel. So it has that chisel tip, just like a highlighter. That first try was not good. I love the brown. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. That peach is pretty. Love the pink. Those colors are gorgeous. And again, very mild and muted. Love this new set. Excited to use it in my journal. These highlighters were not a need. I just wanted them. They are so cute. Come on. They are little bear highlighters. And they are the cutest thing ever. How do you open this? Oh, there we go. <gasps> so cute. What the heck? No, they're not even bears. I think that's a pig. That's a bear. Oh, so it's pigs and bears. OMG, that is so adorable. We have to try those. It was really just, they're just so cute. And I thought they would look cute on my desk. But if they work well, then I'll use them. And they're so tiny. Oh my gosh, these colors are so good. What? That is adorable. They're actually really good highlighters. Like, how is that even possible? to flip this over. So cute. I wish I got two because I would have given Sabine one. Oh, that green is so pretty. So they're really your basic color highlighters. I'm loving that. Ooh, that yellow. Now that's definitely a highlighter. And that orange. Okay, no regrets. These are so good. And like I said, they're like your typical highlighter colors. 
so good and so cute. So excited for that one. Yeah, it was like a last minute thing. I was like, do I need these? No, not really, but they're so cute. So I'm going to grab them. I got some more highlighters. These I've seen around the planner journal community and I just love the colors. Like when I see another YouTuber use it in her journal, um, I'm like, I'm going to try them. And Stationery Pal had these. Again, I don't know what they're called, but I think that one is called like Jam. Like one set is called Jam and the other set is called Sugar or something. I have no clue. It's not in English. It's not written in English. So I'm just going to link them for you. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but I do have a discount code, which I will add in the description box. If you use that code, you get a percent off. So let's take a look at these fun highlighters. I can already tell that I'm going to like them because of their body color. Oh, that's so pretty. What? OMG, these look better in person than when I saw them online. Love these colors. So up my alley. What the heck? I'm so happy I got both sets because I grabbed this one and I thought I don't need the other one, but at the last minute I added the second set. So no regrets. And I love, what? I love that. <gasps> okay, new favorite highlighters. These are gorgeous. Oh, they're called Sugar. But I don't know what set this one is. There's no name for the set. I'm sorry, but I promised to add them in the link. These colors are so gorgeous. And the body is like so comfortable. And they're cute. So these will be perfect to like use in my journal and planner. Let's take a look at the other set. These are lighter shades. But I think they're still in that muted color set. So let's start with this one. It looks like it's purple. Yeah, yeah, these are more like your typical colors, I'm guessing. Oh, I love this purple. That is a good one. Wow, that looks really, really good. That blue. It seems like there's multiple blues in here. Yeah, like there's a few blues in here, which is pretty awesome. Oh, and I love that blue. It's giving me like a hint of purple. And uh, that looks good. Um, I'm not going to lie. Those two colors look very, very similar. Maybe this one's a tad bit lighter, but they're very similar. And I still love them. Now I just have two of the same color and I'm okay with that because these are good. So definitely recommend these. These are going to be fun to use in my planner. These are little necessities and also they're cute. <laughs> and I made sure to grab the correction tape, the mono, with the mono matching eraser. I'm telling you, I probably have a million erasers, but I use the heck out of them. And I love to always have extras on hand. So I just grabbed this fun one. Really love the colors. Very muted colors. Very my style. And then I got the correction tape, which is a favorite. I've used the mono correction tape uh, for the past few years now. Um, and I fell in love with them with my first stationery haul. It, this stuff is so smooth. And I'm going to show you. And it just glides. And it's just perfect to correct anything, any mistakes. And I use it in my daily journal all the time. And I have to correct my uh, spelling or something. So I really, really recommend the Mono Air. They are so good. And I love that they match. So that was a win. I also did grab a sharpener. 
I have a big sharpener and I feel like it's in the way on my desk. So I decided to remove the that sharpener, but I did need a good little sharpener. So I just grabbed this one and I thought it was cute. It matched all the little tools that I got from Stationery Pal. And uh, we shall see, actually, let me try this. Well, mine is already sharpened, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. Nice like it a lot and this one was so cheap it was dirt cheap and it was cute so I grabbed those to add to my uh, necessities that I like to keep on hand all the time I forgot to share this other tool that I grabbed um this was not a necessity but it was cute and it's a strawberry cutter this is gonna be a good addition to my uh craft room because I do get a lot of happy mail and boxes and I just need something to help me open those boxes but I don't want to use my scissors because sometimes when you use your scissors to open boxes that tape adds this kind of layer on your scissors and then I end up trying to remove it off my scissors and all that good stuff so this is just a little craft knife or cutter to help me open up some of my happy mail okay, let's take a look at these uh, notepads and their labels as well uh, i've seen a lot of people use these as well in the journaling world and i wanted to give it a try and i grabbed two of my favorites this is the mustardy yellow Brush strokes and that one's more of the tan brown loving those there is a green, but it's always out of stock on Stationery Pal. But they are perforated and they are sticky on one side. So you just, oops, I totally tore that, but you just have to be gentle. And it's perforated. And like I said, it's sticky on one side. So it's like a little sticky note, which is pretty awesome. Totally using that, even if I tore it, uh, I don't mind. But they're perfect to stamp little sentiments and words and add them to my daily journal. I'm really excited for these. And it's a big pack. You get a lot in here. And I love that you can kind of tear the color you want out of this and still have a lot left or a lot more left. You know, I can't buy stationery and not buy stickers. <laughs> I just have to get stickers. It's my love language. And they had a few sticker sheets that I really wanted. One of them is a repeat. I got this one last time and really, really enjoyed using it. I was using it in my daily journal to kind of document how I felt and why I felt that way. So these were like perfect. And I love that there's tiny, tiny ones, medium size, large ones, really, really good. And they had this one as well. And I thought to myself, okay, I have to grab this. They also have different sizes in here. Oh, there we go. So you have large, medium, and small, which is perfect love those they're great stickers to document how you're feeling that day obviously i had to get this one with all the doggies they're so cute so i can use these when i'm documenting stitch or kind of telling a story about stitch in my journal so i'm excited for that one they're so cute and i also grabbed this one because of the people so i think then this one is more like um healing and things like that because you have like the healing words and freedom and YOLO, whoopee and surfing. But I really grabbed it for the people. I really like using people stickers in my journal. So like if I'm talking about my son, uh, I can just use one of the little guy stickers and add that and just kind of talk about him. And then you get the car and the airplane and the scooter, which is a nice little addition. So I'm really excited for that. The stickers are so cute and excited to use them in my journal. Talking about stickers, I did grab this pouch and I grabbed it for my stickers. First off, this pouch is so cute. It's so soft and adorable and I'm so excited for this. This was actually in their sale section, so I didn't even see it at first until I went into the sale section and then uh, I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. So basically, how this works let me pull out all the little cushiony stuff in here okay so it has like this little uh closure and you just flip it over and connect that 
and this stays open and then you can grab your stickers and your um, notes and your sticky notes and all that good stuff. Obviously it wouldn't be in the packaging and you just slide them in there and I can have these on the go. So when I say on the go, I journal everywhere in my house. So I have this little um, tote that I have my daily journal, my planner in there, my reading journal, some stickers, pens and markers. And I always have the stickers just sitting there and they always fall out. I can never find the right sticker. This is gonna be perfect to store my stickers and I can just basically go through it and find the sticker sheet I'm looking for. There's more spots here. Maybe if you have like loose stickers, you can add them back there and some more little tiny stickers or even like erasers or correction tape or whatever you can add in there. I was really excited for this. I'm so happy that I saw it on their site because I really wanted to give it a try. And again, I'm happy that I grabbed it because it was the perfect size for my stickers. I was kind of worried um, before I got this because I wasn't sure if they would fit, but look at that. They fit so nicely in there and it's so cute. They have different colors, but you guys know me. I like my neutral colors. So I grabbed this kind of cream and it even says be yourself. Love that. So Stationery Pal has notebooks, uh, planners, paper. Obviously it's a stationary website, but their notebooks are so adorable. Like those covers, I couldn't resist. I grabbed a few and I'm gonna share them with you. This first one was a must. Uh, if you've been around here, you know my daughter is going to be studying aerospace engineering um very soon she starts next fall and she loves everything space so i had to get this and i haven't decided if i'm gonna give this to her or if i'm gonna keep it and document her in this notebook it is just a grid it's square and the paper is not very thick obviously it's not for scrapbooking but i can keep it really simple in here if i wanted to uh, or maybe just journal about her I don't know. I haven't decided. I just wanted it because, come on, there's an astronaut on there and it says space travel. So I just really thought it would be fun to kind of document maybe her first year at college studying aerospace engineers. So adorable, excited for that. Again, the paper isn't thick. It's just notebook paper, but it's really cute. Oh, and look at that. That is so cute. I did not see that love it let me share with you the other notebooks that i grabbed so my peaches are gonna know why i grabbed this come on it's a square notebook and it has a peach <laughs> and there's a peach spelled out so i had to have it if you didn't know i do have a peaches membership here on youtube and it's called hibis peaches and i love my peaches and i just thought this would be a cute notebook if i documented all our Zoom craft with me meetups and probably added a photo of, you know, a screenshot of us uh, crafting together every time we met up, maybe the date, keep it really simple, journal a little bit. And I just love the grid on this. That is so different and cool. I don't know if you can see that. This is so fun. I'm so happy I grabbed it. I know it wasn't a necessity and I'm just adding another project. <laughs> to all the million projects that I have but I just had to have it it has a peach on there and it would just be a perfect little notebook to document my peaches maybe I can just document each and every single peach I have and kind of keep a record of that I don't know it's just going to be fun and I'm excited for it last but not least another peaches journal well this is a planner okay first off this is so cute I love that the spiral is at the top and it has a peach again loving that now i'm gonna share with you the inside isn't that the cutest thing ever like there's the peach is so cute and the colors okay so you have a week on each page and it is a planner i just love this it gives me that retro feel big time and what I thought I would use this for, because obviously you guys know I have a planner. I love my planner. 
but I thought it would be fun to document maybe one person a week and just add their photos in here or something. I don't know. And then like on that week, I'll have this sitting at my desk, something like that, and just kind of see those photos of that person I documented. I have no clue. <laughs> I just wanted this planner and I thought to myself, I'll figure it out after the fact. Okay, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. That's all the adorable stuff that I got from Stationery Pal. I do have to say that the pouches were my favorite. I'm really, really excited for these. And as you can see, I added my new pens in there and just threw a few things in there to see, like, you know, how it looks and how everything will fit. Obviously, I have a lot more space and I can add more to this. But like I said, it expands so it can fit a lot of stuff in there if it's on the go or even if you're moving around in your home, you know, from one room to the other. This is perfect. And again, the sticker pouch is another favorite. I love that my stickers fit in there nicely and this can be also on the go. Oh, and before I go, I also do love these highlighters. They are so good. If you love muted colors, these are the highlighters for you. Anyways, as always, I will be adding all the links down in the description box for you and my code, my discount code. And don't forget that Stationary Pal has a sale in July. So definitely go and take a look at that. And if you want any of these products, I would grab it while they have the sale. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.